Thank you, uh, Mayor Heath. I, I look forward to, to serving with both of you guys to uh, make Pottstown even better. And, and, and thank you to all of you guys for coming out to our, uh, what we're calling our Whistles Stopped Tour. Uh, this is, uh, we're going to different cities on the uh, proposed line that doesn't have uh, uh, a line just yet. And look, uh, uh, many of you guys know my story. You know that I served in Iraq with the Marines as the battalion surgeon for one of the first units to cross the line. You know I fought on the front lines of this health care crisis as a primary care doctor. And now uh, I'm fighting, and I've been fighting for last year to uh, uh, serve as your next congressman in the 6th Congressional District. And I look forward to doing that uh, on November 3rd because uh, we're going to win this thing. Uh, we have the momentum and uh, we have the issues on our side. And uh, you know, many people ask me about Iraq and Afghanistan and obviously health care as well because of my background. But we all know that the number one issue in this election, uh, in this district, in this country, is uh, getting this economy back on track and, and putting food on, food on the table with jobs <coughs> in our district. And if we can't put food on the table, we can't address all those other big issues out there. That's why I've laid out a comprehensive jobs plan. It's on my website, trevettyforcongress.com. I'm the only candidate to have uh, taken a deep dive into figuring out really how we stimulate job growth uh, in this country. It's something that's desperately needed. And my job plan uh, emphasizes small businesses. We need to uh, uh, reinvigorate small businesses. Actually today I was uh, meeting with many small business owners up and down High Street talking to them about what they need, what, uh, what they want. All of them tell me that we need they need more capital, they need more access to loans, they need uh, uh, tax breaks. That's what I propose, tax breaks, when they want to grow and, uh, and create jobs. The other part of my jobs plan invests in uh, what I'm convinced is the gazillion dollar industry of the future, and that's clean energy manufacturing. Towns like Pottstown, Coatesville, Norristown, Reading, all towns in my district uh, are factory towns that have more or less lost some or all their factories, but they're ideally situated for the jobs and the industries of the future. Solar panel, wind turbine, smart grid, uh, and uh, my jobs plan also talks about stopping the loophole the, that gives corporations tax breaks when they outsource our jobs. Right now, corporations get tax breaks to send jobs overseas, and my opponent supports this loophole, and that costs us $256 billion and costs us jobs. And then lastly, my jobs plan, uh, one of my last major planks in my jobs plan is what we're here to talk about today, and that's infrastructure, okay? We all know that our roads, our bridges, our tunnels, our schoolhouses, our municipal buildings are falling apart, and we need to rebuild them. You know, Pennsylvania has the highest number of structurally deficient bridges in the country, but we also need to connect Pottstown to Philadelphia and uh, all the way up on the other side to Y Missing and Reading. And you guys have all or may know about the history of this this uh, rail line, the Schuylkill Valley Metro. And Mark said it, uh, you know, this used to exist, and you used to be able to go from here to Philadelphia on rail. And uh, this is a jobs plan for a number of reasons, not just because it would be a jobs creator for the people who build and manufacture this, this line, but also because, as Mark said, it is a policy with ripple effects. Once we put this rail line in, it will make Pottstown better. It would revitalize uh, economic centers all up and down uh, this rail from Phoenixville to Norristown and uh, Royersford, Spring City, uh, all the way up to Reading and Wyoming. and Missing. But also, uh, we've all driven 422, you know, <laughs> especially in the morning. And every year, I, I swear, it gets worse and worse. And, you know, if not just for the commute and not just for the uh, extra admissions, I think it's a health care crisis. I have patients who drive that and, and tell me that they're stressed out. And look, it's a big issue. We can't live like that and have two-hour commutes each way. Uh, but we're not just talking about making Pottstown better. We'd make Philadelphia better. We'd make all the uh, all the cities in between better. And we're not just talking about people driving from uh, taking the train from here into Philly. It could be the other way around too. We could have the office towers. We could have the complexes. We could have the small businesses and big corporations be setting up shop in, uh, out here in Northern Montgomery in Berks, and people coming the other way as well. So this is a project that has been talked about since it was stopped in 1981. And here we have sort of the map of the proposed what they call the. Uh, uh, the Schuylkill Valley Metro. Uh, the, the black line is the uh, Maniac Norristown line, the R6 line. It stops right now in Norristown. Um, what has happened here is uh, a lack of advocacy. We've had failed leadership on this project. Uh, and my opponent, Congressman Gerlach, this was one of his promises. This is what he was going to advocate for. But as with so many of Congressman Gerlach's uh, uh, actions. It's a lot of uh, talk and no action. 
and to uh, highlight some of that talk, some of the things that he said about this rail line, I brought a series of uh, quotes from Congressman Garlack on the, uh, the Schuylkill Valley Metro and uh, what's been called, sometimes it's called the R6 extension. There's a lot of different options we can choose. We just don't have to go all the way up to, to Reading. We could go to uh, up to Pottstown or Phoenixville or connect somewhere. There's the, pro the, pro the bottom line is we need to get it done. And let's see what Congressman Gerlach has said about this issue. Uh, in uh, 2005, construction of the Schuylkill Valley Metro has and will continue to be one of my top priorities in Congress. This okay. is uh, five years ago. Then, <laughs> in uh, 2006, I have no doubt that we will get this accomplished. Sounds a little bit like mission accomplished. Remember that quote, okay? Uh, and then, after uh, there were some funding questions and, and uh, he was placed uh, on a task force to try to get this done uh, with Governor Rendell saying that the money wasn't there, or there's was problems with the money, they needed more support from the federal government because it has to be sort of a, a, a mix of federal dollars and state and local dollars. Uh, and, and, and Governor Rendell saying there was enough support from the, the, the federal government. Uh, Congressman Gerlach in 2006 said, we are not giving up. This was four years ago. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've given up on Congressman Gerlach. And I think the vote is... Yeah. Woo! And I think uh, many of the voters uh, that are going to be voting in less than two weeks from now have as well. And it's time that we recognize that Washington is broken. And these guys down there go down there, get caught in what I call a beltway syndrome, and that's a professional diagnosis, okay? And, and just don't get it anymore. They're lost, and they stopped listening to us a long time ago. And they say a lot of things, but they have no actions to back it up. And uh, that's why I'm running for Congress. We need new leadership in this district. Up and down uh, this proposed line, we need people who can advocate and work together with Mayor Heath and uh, uh, future state representative uh, uh, Painter and everybody else to, to bring real projects to uh, cities like Pottstown and Norristown and Phoenixville and Reading and why I'm missing because we all know we need to change Washington and simply put ladies and gentlemen if we want to change Washington we got to start changing who we send down there. Thank you guys so much for coming out here. Uh, I look forward to any questions and conversation you guys may have about this issue.